Here we have the chassis that were provided. <coughs> These chassis actually do have a, a plastic coating, so I recommend taking that, that off. It comes off pretty easily without applying anything. Um, so check and see if you have a coating. Um, and it it's on both sides you can you can feel it so go ahead and peel off that coating but before I do I wanted to show you that these two chassis are identical so uh, you can't kinda can't mess things up and you don't have to worry about one being different than the other there are lots of holes and slots and all kinds of things in here these are the motor mounts. They have quite a few of these. These two also have a protective coating. So you'll want to take that off. Just peel it off like this from both sides. So go ahead and do that with all your motor mounts. Um, they just look better if the coating is off. Nice and clear. Okay, we're getting ready to attach the motors to the chassis. Um, I suggest that you put wheel encoders on first. They go on the wire side of the motor. Going to now mount the motors onto the chassis. So I recommend that you First install the wheel encoder, as shown, just push it on, um, and it needs to go on the side with the wires because the wires are going to be pointing to the inside. So the way this works is there's a little slot in the chassis, as you can see, for the wheel encoder so that it doesn't rub. And then we have two uh, slots one on each side of the motor and so I'm going to take one of them the motor bracket mounts a little plastic piece with holes in it slide that through there and I'm going to take another one and put it on the outside so you can now see they line up fingers stuck in the hole. They line up with the holes in the motor and we're going to take uh, one of the long screws put it through this one and that one. We're going to put the head on this side because we don't want it to interfere. We don't want the, the nut side with the screw tip to interfere with the motor, uh, I'm sorry, with the wheel itself. So the wheel's going to go here, and so now we're just going to take and put this nut on. If we can get it on, we are going to put this nut on no matter what it takes. There we go. Put it down like that. And then you can use either a 7 30 seconds nut driver or uh, metric 5.5 millimeter um, will also work. Okay, and so this actually will come in handy when you put the other motor here because you won't be able to get to this bottom screw with the, with the nut driver so you'll be able to do that uh, with the wrench. I already have the red wires stuck down below the encoder wheel there, so we want to get that out. Loosen this up a little bit and see if we can get it out. Okay, so you want to make sure the wires are free and not interfering with anything. Put this 
bottom one on, which is tricky. I found the best way to get these bottom uh, screws on is to use a screwdriver and then use your fingers to kind of get it started here like this. Tighten these down pretty well. I don't want to break anything. And don't use your ultimate muscles, but some pretty good medium sized muscles. Okay, now we've got a motor mounted. It's nice and tight, not going anywhere. Make sure the encoder wheel isn't going to rub on the chassis. It looks like it's centered pretty well. So we are good to go with this motor. And now we're going to mount the rest of the motors.